Hello. How are you? So today I'm going to hopefully get the answer to a question that I, as just a simple American, have wondered for a long time. Why do people still drive manual in Europe? Why are manual cars popular in Europe and the UK? Like Conquer Driving. Go check them out. Link down below. We got to change this number of subscribers. That's, that's bad luck right there. Go subscribe to get them to 667. Oh, and it almost matches the view count. This is, I'm actually getting spooked out now at this video. But anyway, um, I'm ashamed to admit, I don't even know how to drive a manual car. It's embarrassing, I know. And especially, you know, now I live in Indiana, in the Midwest of America, where that's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, people, st people don't drive manual cars here. Almost, I don't know, probably one out of 20, maybe less. But they do drive manual, like, um, ATVs and um, motorbikes and stuff, you know, that are manual. So not knowing how to do that, pretty embarrassing. But, you know, I keep it, as the kids say, I keep it a buck. I don't know how to drive manual. <laughs> but why would you ever want to drive a manual car? Honestly, I don't know. I don't understand. But I'm going to find out. What the heck? I can't comprehend that. Playback speed normal. What happened? Hold on. Let's try that again. Speed my American brain can follow. <laughs> I'm in a fairly typical street in the UK. Let's take a look at what people are driving. Here is a Ford Fiesta. I'm just having fun. I'm distracted by just the street. I'm just having fun seeing all these like brick retaining walls and stuff. And this, it's all just interesting. This fence. They're driving. Really small garage, not attached to the house. Here is a Ford Fiesta. And that is a manual. Steering wheel's on the wrong side. Let's take a look at this mini across the street. And I did look both ways, although the camera didn't. Before across the road, that is. And that is also a manual. I have to say, if I saw this guy or anybody outside my house poking his GoPro into my car, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what I would do, actually. I would be pretty sketched out. I'm not going to look at this Fiesta because I just looked at that one. So don't need to look at two fiestas let's go and have a look at this section are they not are there not like manual and automatic fiestas it's free instead so so far all the cars Is have been manual. A manual or an automatic also a manual wow now there is a mercedes c-class down there i believe that is automatic because it's Ooh. the e model which means it's going to be hybrid i'm going to have a quick run so hybrid i mean i know all electric cars are obviously manual but hybrid cars are too um, i didn't know that yes c350e so that is going to be an automatic but this is a much more expensive car and it's also still fairly young being five years old yeah five do your maths richard all petrol Good and car. cars need gears. Some change gear automatically for you, and in others, you have to change gear manually yourself. All early cars were manual, and the automatic gearbox didn't start to become widely available until the 1930s and 40s, or at least- That long ago? Damn, it's been a hundred years since automatic cars were invented? Widely available in certain parts of the world. But that's 80 years ago. Why is the manual still so popular today. And in some markets, no such idea. as America, the automatic has been the norm for some time now. In fact, in some states, you can actually pass your driving test in an automatic and be allowed to drive a manual. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard of that not being the case. It's stupid now that he says it, but yeah, if you got your license, you can drive whatever the hell you want. Well, I mean, you do need a separate thing for a motorcycle, but. As far as a car, and of course, like a really big bus. I mean, I guess not that I say it. You can't drive whatever the hell you want, but you sure can drive whatever car you want. Manual, automatic, 
Yep, that's up to you at that point. I can only... Which is scary. Yes, this can be allowed because there's so few manuals that it's not a major safety concern. But in the UK, most small cheap... Or maybe it's just stupid and it should be changed. ...cars are manual. So if people in the UK could pass in an automatic and then drive a manual, we would have somewhere between 500,000 and 700,000 new drivers each year passing in automatics uh -huh. with no manual experience, <laughs> taking to the road for the first time in their manual. And they would just have to buy an automatic car, I guess. In a country guess. that has a population of only around 67 million, that's a lot of drivers who don't know yeah, how is. to control their car. That could be quite chaotic. It's actually kind of sad thinking about the advent of electric cars, which I mean, I know, I know a lot of people don't think that it's inevitable, but it, for the most part, it seems kind of inevitable that cars will be electric in 15, 20 years or something, or maybe sooner. I don't, I don't know. You know I'm just, I'm not making like an opinion here. I'm just saying eventually it seems like they're going to be electric and the manual car will be a thing of the past. It's kind of sad. In the UK, the manual gearbox is in decline. In 2010, 20% of new cars sold were automatic. And back That's then, it. that was considered a lot. By 2018, 43% of new cars sold wow. were automatic. But Still the minority, now, but wow. Nearly 60% of new cars sold in the UK are automatic. I mean, honestly, that's, that's still crazy that 40% are manual, but wow, it, it really is declining. So although new drivers are still opting to pass their driving test in a manual, over 90% of driving tests are manual, the automatic is becoming the norm. That'll be interesting to see when that finally changes, if it ever, I mean, it has to at some point, right? So why has it taken so long for the automatic to start the takeoff in the UK? Well, it's quite simple. Traditional automatics with torque converters were mm -hmm. big, heavy, and inefficient. That does not bode well with Asian and European cars. In the UK, we primarily use- You're telling me Asian country, like Asian people drive manual cars too? I didn't know that. Asian cars and European cars. I never thought about However, it. However, <laughs> in America, their cars are already big, heavy, and inefficient. They damn have straight. You're damn right they are. Five That's how we like them. Point seven the more inefficient, the better. <laughs> V8s, which they call a 350 cubic inch. With loads of torque, so having a less efficient gearbox doesn't make as much of a difference. And gasoline, as they call it over there, mm -hmm. is much cheaper. So having the convenience That's right. of an automatic makes more sense because the negatives doesn't feel cheap anymore but yeah what is the price of gas i mean i have to look that up real real quick price of gas in the uk right now how am i gonna find this oh boy i thought this would be like a quick thing but i have no idea what that even means 156p is that pence and it's in a different unit, you know, like that's, what is that for a liter? Yeah, price per liter. I have no idea. That's the answer. No idea. But I know it's more. A lot more. It's noticeable. However, if you were- Like, I think it's over double, right? To put a traditional automatic in say something like a 1.1- Why are these cars kissing? Are they attached? Like, oh my God. Ford Fiesta from the 1980s, it's gonna drive like you've left the handbrake on. Mm. But in the early noughties or 2000s, something started to change. I'm sorry. Did he just say the early no noughties? But in the early noughties or 2000s. Why have I never heard a British person say the 90s? You guys call it the, the noughties? something started to change. It was out with the traditional torque converter planetary gear automatic and in with the robotized manual. Yes, automatics were no longer really automatics. They were actually a manual, but with a robot changing gear for you. 
So that got rid of the disadvantage of the automatic being less efficient I see. and bigger and heavier. They're almost the same size and same weight. The only disadvantage was the price. Normally, it I was going to say, like, I have a freaking Toyota Corolla. It's automatic and it's pretty efficient. Like, it's not big or anything, so... Okay, that makes sense. They're robotic now. Added around 1,000 to 1,500 pounds to the list price of a car. And they worked well in small cars with small engines as well. Therefore, opting to have the extra convenience of the car changing gear for you was no longer such a problem. Well, it was actually convenient. And then the automatic started to become popular. And Japanese manufacturers started to use something called a CVT, which stands for Continuously Variable Transmission. They work well with big engine cars and low powered small engine cars. The only trouble is, is how they sound. Many people don't like the fact that it actually sounds like your engine is staying at a constant velocity whenever you put your foot hard on the gas. It kind of goes and in fact, in one of my videos, I made the mistake of calling it a constant velocity transmission just because I was so used to hearing that constant <laughs> velocity of the engine. They work well, they are. I know an embarrassingly small amount about cars. So everything he's saying, I'm just like, oh, that's fascinating. Efficient. If you drive gently, don't worry about it. But if you want to put your foot down, they're not very nice. So the reason why it's taken so long for automatics to become popular in the UK uh -huh. is simply because the technology to make a lightweight, low powered car, which is most of the cars in the UK, automatic yet still drive in a decent way, has only become widely available recently. Okay, but that doesn't explain to me at least. I don't, I don't well, I mean, he said it's because American cars are already bigger and, but, that's kind of, I don't know. That doesn't, that doesn't, that's not a, I think it's more like a cultural thing. Just driving the manual car over the automatic car. Cause obviously we've had, we've had, you know, I had an automatic Camry in 99 or my parents did. You know, we've had automatic cars, like not big cars, small sedans that were automatic a long, long time ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. So saying, oh, it's just because the Americans like big cars, like that that makes sense to a degree, but why, why did it take so long to where even still today, half the cars sold in the UK are manual? It feels to me like it's mostly a cultural type thing but does that mean you shouldn't bother learning manual? You should just learn automatic because all cars are going to be automatic soon. Well, the manual is going to be here for a bit longer than you may think. They're going to be sold up until 2030 minimum when the petrol and diesel ban comes in and that ban essentially bans manual. However, that may be delayed. You never know, but let's say. I will say <laughs> prediction right now. 2030 is already feels like it's sneaking up real quick. Somehow it's already 2020 or like almost a few, couple months away from 2024 there's no way gasoline cars new i mean i know it's only new gasoline cars are going to be banned by 2030 i just don't believe it we'll see it I'll, I'll i'll believe it when i see it but that just it's only six years away the ban happens in 2030 then those cars are still going to be on the road for 10 to 20 years after that so the manual car maybe it will be i mean i don't know Technology does advance quickly, but damn, that's coming up quick. It will still be popular for quite a while yet. Getting a manual license does give you the freedom to drive whatever car you want. However, of course, which makes sense, automatic is easier. <laughs> but is there any Much other easier. advantage to driving a manual, or is it all just about the money? It's not just about the money. It's about the experience. If you're bought up around manuals, learn to drive a manual. Exactly. See, now he's getting to what I feel is the majority answer. There are people out there who just love their manual. And for some reason, that doesn't, that's not as big a thing here in America. But there are those people. Good at driving a manual. And they like to feel in control of the car. 
I could I could understand it would be fun. I really would love to learn. Somewhere where you're not. I'd have to film it because it would be really embarrassing. But constantly in nose to tail bumper to bumper traffic, you actually have access to some relatively quiet roads with a half decent speed limit. You may also enjoy driving a manual. It looks like fun. It's not guaranteed, of course. Not everyone does. It's not everyone's cup of tea. But there are plenty who do. And as a result, he is really blasting into my eardrums. <laughs> with great British country roads. Whoa. The manual has stayed strong for years. Even though realistically, the economy and how much people earn in this country means that automatics aren't really out of the question. A manual car and a bicyclist. Two things you'd never see here in America. It is a bit of a choice. Now, I could be driving down this road in an automatic, but I know from experience I won't be having as much fun. There is a sense of... I'll tell you what, it's a lot harder to text and drive in a manual car. It could be safer. Joy from the achievement of achieving... It's hard to get distracted when you have to have full or a lot of focus on what you're doing. The perfect gear change, the downshift rev match, the heel and toe rev match, under braking, I barely even know what he's talking about, but I, I already feel like he's getting me to want to get out there in a manual car. And kissing the red line. Although you can do red that line. in an automatic as well. Of course, drive responsibly. And that's part of what makes driving a manual so special. I didn't break the speed limit there, but I enjoyed myself. A very powerful automatic will shoot you up to. I can't believe how much he just had to do just going around a bendy road. Very high speeds, very quickly, without you doing much at all. I mean, I, I don't think he Which actually needed to do all that, but... Wanting to enjoy the speed... He was probably having some as fun. ...as opposed to the involvement. So therefore, driving a manual enthusiastically allows you to have fun whilst being safe. Because there's something else to enjoy. Of course, manuals aren't for everyone. Some people just prefer automatics. I know both. Some people like auto, some people like manual. A lot of people like manual for the same reasons I do. And many people like automatic because, well, it's easier and they're not really enthusiastic about driving. Exactly. It's like the car enthusiasts. Those are the people who, who probably really appreciate a manual car. Um, and growing up all only ever driving automatic cars that actually might be why i don't have like much enthusiasm about cars and i kind of wish i did like i cars are really cool so it'd be cool to learn an autom or a manual they just want to get from a to b the old stick wherever you are doesn't matter enjoy your car well i hope this video helps you understand why manuals are still so popular in the uk yeah if you think it does, please give the video a thumbs up and check out Conningwood and Confused in the description. <laughs> awesome. That was a great video. Shout out to Conquer Driving. Um, I'm going to read a couple comments. It's an interesting subject. When I taught my sons to drive manuals, the argument I, use, I used was that their freeloading friends won't be able to drive their cars. <laughs> now that's true. That is a good point. Programmer in me. Automate everything. Control freak in me. No, manual control. Maintain control. Me being Dutch. Okay, cheaper option it is. <laughs> the all cheaper option type thing isn't really... I don't even know if that's a thing at all here in America. I've never heard someone say, oh yeah, I got this manual car because it was cheaper. And when you go to buy a new car, they don't even... They don't even say... Oh, like, are you looking for a manual or an automatic? No. They just bring you to the automatic. They might not even have a manual on the lot. I'm European and I have mixed feelings about manual shifting. Even when the road flows well, it's fun to drive with the manual and it kind of turns driving into a mini game when you try to get perfect shifting. Yeah, it does sound fun. Rev matching. I don't know what that is. It's really... So or I guess that's when you shift and the and the revving of the engine 
I don't know. It's like a perfect shift. It's really satisfying just to drop two to three gears when you arrive to a roundabout and just letting the clutch go with no jankiness at all. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. On the other end, driving in a city traffic with the clutch can be really frustrating. Yeah, it'd be nice to have two cars. One automatic, one manual. Thank you for watching, guys. I had fun. I need to make a video learning to drive a manual car. Subscribe for that. I don't know what, where I would even find a manual car, though. And I ran out of battery. Perfect timing. I'll see you guys tomorrow.